Hi there, everyone. We're just working away, um, sanding out the last little bits of uh, seams on our Machine and Krieger MK44 uh, Smart Gun Type by Hasegawa, our first ever entry. And I am really enjoying this kit. This uh, I have put one of the Bandai's together, a Pat Labor kit, which was kind of neat. It was a little bit more articul articulated than this. But uh, very enjoyable build, and this is very much the same. I'm glad I got a couple. I bought, I got another one of these same <laughs> MK one. Uh, I I want to build a pair of these with the other one. So I did. I did. I got another one actually right away. I'm really enjoying this build though. And uh, here I'll just click us overhead here. Um, um, yeah, yeah, you can see, see I'm, I'm just, just uh, uh, sanding out the little bits of seams. They came out pretty good on the legs. Very sparing with uh, how much I sand it. I just want to sort of clean this little frayed edge in here. I think you can kind of see that in there. just want to sort of clean up some of these little spots. And I think I'm going to pop these out and paint these separate, I think. Because I can kind of fish these out of here with a blade, I do believe. Without causing too much trouble. Yep, oh, there they pop right out. So yeah, I want to pop paint these separately. I'm just going to give some of this a sand on the inside. But uh, yeah, basically that's where we're at now as far as assembly. I think we've got most of our components now. We do have to put the smart gun together yet. And there's a few of our little <laughs> mystery rivets. <laughs> so we have a few of the little mystery rivets to put on. And uh, just some little small details. But other than that, it's all this basically just a little bit of clean up sanding around the edges because all these edges are, are exposed. You see all these edges once you're finished painting. So I want to just kind of make sure that everything's got uh, none of that little flash that's left over from uh, the manufacturing. And it's coming along really good. So yeah, basically we've got our leg sections together. We have our feet. We have our slippers, which are in our container, just sanding up our fuel or I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to see if I can look around. So we've got all of our pads pretty well set up. Just got to sand these off a bit. And here is my and. I'm noticing that this uh, fit on this kit is extraordinarily really good. Uh, I only had like a couple little things with the canopy here, this front part of the body. But it's going to be open, so it's not really an issue. It was just a little bit wider here than it is here when it closes. But with it posed open, that's not an issue at all. And once you get it painted and stuff, it's going to be fine. But yeah, really nice mold. Really uh, nice to work with. So now I've got all these components laid out. And we're going to be painting basically in sub-assemblies. Uh, getting ready to get our base coats on. So I, as I sand this, I was thinking about uh, what I'm going to use to prime. And I'm going to go with the rattle cans. So you're going to use the uh, this uh, trim clad, which is in like an off-white, sort of like a bone primer, for all of these sections that are going to wind up being white. Because as we look at our color, this is the one that we're going to do and I want to make sure that I've got like sort of a, a nice base going on with what I'm going to be ending up with the color so for this section and these sections that are the shields so for this and this back part section which goes on the back part of the body and all of these panels and this part for the face shield that goes on here um, here I'll put that over the right way and that goes on there like that sort of deal um i'm going to prime in this bone so that is what i'm going to use for the primer for the lighter spots and then for all of the green camo and the interior i'm going to use a red oxide primer for everything else so um i might as well just work away i'll get sanded oh and i guess i'll use I think I'll use a red oxide for him too, actually. Might as well. And sand all these parts out. 
just get the last little bit of sanding. I'll get the prime coat on and get him sort of uh, standing up assembled. And we'll come back and take a look at him. Because, uh, yeah, he's starting to come together. You can kind of see what he's going to look like now that uh, I've got enough of the components put together. So it was a real uh, interesting build. It's, it hasn't taken a long time. I've been up and down um, pretty busy with other other things. Life is uh, sort of moving at a good pace right now. But um, I have been able to get a bunch of work done, and here we are. So um, I'll carry on with that, and then we'll come back, and I'll have him standing up in the primer coat. And we can start to pick out our colors, what we're going to do as far as camo scheme i think i'm going to try to you know kind of get pretty pretty close to what's there i've got some plans for some 3d prints for other figures to put with it and i found some elements actually out when i come back i'll show you these elements that i found that i think i can work into a cool uh, little idea for a little scene so uh anyways i'll be back momentarily and uh we'll get a look at what he looks like so stay tuned <laughs> 